Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man, back in the studio with this week's official pricing. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, and of course some of the offset games as well. Today we'll be looking at uh, some Blood Bowl stuff, and then of course a Horus Heresy as well as that comes available. So here we have the pre-orders that were announced for this coming Saturday, and now we're just going to go ahead and do a breakdown of the pricing. So we see the new Blood Bowl Norse team and uh, USD, this is $50 or 60 in Canadian dollars, uh, right in line with what we would expect for our typical Blood Bowl teams. And uh, this is a super cool team, obviously very unique and uh, definitely something we have not seen before. Uh, really cool models overall. You basically get two of the same sprue sets and then uh, you can make alternatives for the models. So you have various different like heads and little bits that you can change out so no two of your players have to look the same. And now uh, including the boars it is 14 players and then you get your markers and uh, everything as well a couple of balls. A uh, pretty cool set definitely like it. I'm not a Blood Bowl player so I'm going to be passing on this one but uh, I could definitely understand people picking that up. Uh, and then also next we have the Spike Magazine. Uh, so this is like the Blood Bowl themed magazine and included in this magazine is all the rules for the Norse team. So if you were going to be picking that one up, uh, you're going to need to get this as well so that you have all the team's uh, rules. And then uh, this Spike Journal issue 14 is $15 USD or $20 Canadian. Uh, so basically, you know, you're going to need both those things if you do want to play the team. Uh, and then moving along right in line with what we'd expect and the other cards and dice as well as the pitch and dugout sets uh, so we have first the uh, Norse team dice set is $18 or 24 Canadian and then we have the Norse team card pack for $30 or $35 Canadian and then finally we have the pitch and dugouts for $50 or 60 Canadian and this has some cool rules for once the ice starts to crack, you flip the board over and it has a different like cracked board with some special rules and then also playing on the ice versus just like regular grass. So it could be cool thematic and, uh, you know, extra little bit of fun to your regular Blood Bowl games. Definitely pretty neat. And then we see all these guys are coming from Forge World. Uh, so we have like some star players and some beasts that you'll be able to take in various Blood Bowl gangs, not just in the Norse team. And then on to uh, our Black Library. We have the very limited Bequin Pariah. Uh, you may want to pay attention to that if you're interested. Uh, it's super cool. has some nice art. Looks like a very nice quality book. And uh, it is very limited. Signed by the author. Only 2,000 copies. So keep your eye on that uh, if you were interested in one of those. As that will no doubt be selling out. So, And then next we have Sigismund the Eternal Crusader. Uh, so this is the hardback novel. And this is going to be $19 USD or 21 Canadian. And uh, if you're a Black Templar fan, obviously, it's going to be right up your alley. And then we see Trader Rock. And this is the paperback novel version. Uh, so recently we saw the hardback. Here's the paperback. This one is $16 USD or 17 Canadian. And then on to like the McFarlane Toys. Uh, so we don't actually have a official price on these, uh, but I know the previous ones that I've gotten, there's a slight price difference, I think, between the painted and unpainted ones. Uh, but I picked up uh, a couple of them for like between $18 and $20 uh, for uh, the unpainted ones, which are super cool. I mean, the paint jobs that come on these are actually pretty nice. But, uh, you know, if you want to paint them to match your army or something like that, or paint some detail to them, uh, I really like the, the artist proof unpainted ones. And if no, if you haven't picked one of these up in the past or like seen one of them uh, they are really cool and extra detailed I picked up these sisters of battle ones I think uh, that one's probably the best one really nice and uh, you know definitely going to paint that up eventually to match my army uh, and I don't have a price on the official print uh, so I'm not sure what that's going to be we know a lot of times the other prints come in around $50 so it would not surprise me to see the official print coming in at 50 bucks as well uh, and they don't actually mention it in this article, I don't think. Uh, but the White Dwarf 474 will be available as well. And um, that's going to be $11 or $14 Canadian. 
uh, right in line with our typical pricing. So um, overall, this is a rather underwhelming release for me personally. Uh, we've had some pretty crazy heavy uh, releases lately. Like the schedule has been super, super busy. Uh, it's been like one codex after another, combat patrols, uh, just lots and lots of stuff coming out. Uh, so uh, I've been picking up quite a bit of that. I've been passing on quite a bit of stuff as well. Uh, if I didn't feel like it was fair or accurately priced. But uh, I have picked up quite a bit of new stuff. Some of it I am still waiting to arrive. So uh, it was kind of nice to have a week off from, uh, you know, new stuff coming out. So, uh, But the schedule has been extremely, extremely busy, obviously. Uh, lots and lots of new books, new rules, new models. Uh, pretty much anything, you know, accessories, dice, cards. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's been kind of nice to have a, a couple days off here. So, uh, but this is our, uh, you know, official pricing for this week. Uh, I think this is probably going to be a little bit of a slow or off week, uh, you know, considering that uh, I, I can't speak for everyone. We do have a couple of Blood Bowl players around uh, where I'm at, but uh, we don't have a ton of like the other games. Most people play 40K. Some people play Sigmar. And then we have some like Kill Team players. Necromunda is not real big around here. We don't. We have some Warcry players. Uh, we have some Blood Bowl, obviously, but uh, we don't have a lot of alternate games. There's some people that play like uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol, I think it's called, or um, some of the Star Wars games or X-Wing. But uh, for the most part, you know, if you're looking to play a tabletop war game, uh, it's pretty much one of the uh, Warhammers, either 40k or Sigmar. So, uh, you know, but it is nice to have some of these side games and everything uh still waiting to hear about some of the details for like the um little mini version of blood bowl i'm not really sure when that's supposed to come out and then we also saw for like uh you know underworld kind of like quest game as well and then like a 40k kind of version so we'll see when some of those come out they'll be available in various stores uh, but we know we have some upcoming releases we know we have the knights on the horizon the Chaos Knight starter box set and then both codexes uh, for the Imperial and Chaos Knights. And then obviously we know Chaos is going to be coming after that. And then I imagine it's just a matter of time probably before we get, uh, you know, Gene Stiller cult. Um, I'm sorry, not Gene Stiller cult, but uh, uh, Demons and uh, Imperial Guard as well. <laughs> Poor Imperial Guard just got called Gene Stiller cult. But uh, definitely looking forward to some of the new stuff coming in. I'm excited to get my hands on a couple of these kits and do some painting tutorials. If you haven't checked out the recent commission that went out of the studio, uh, some super cool stuff and some white armor, which is not always the easiest to do. But uh, we've got that recipe down to a science. Uh, so I highly recommend you check that out if you've ever thought about doing some white armored fellows or ladies. Uh, but uh, overall, definitely some cool looking models. Excited to see these coming out. I think this is probably the coolest release right here, and it is super limited. So I think that will definitely sell out. Everything else probably still going to be available for a while. Um, also, if you didn't check out the recent video I did about all the terrain that is on Last Chance to Buy, I highly recommend you take a look at that, as it may be your last chance to grab up some terrain. Uh, most of it has been available for quite some time. A couple of the kits are just sort of like redundant Mechanicus stuff. But uh, if you're interested in some of the older stuff, uh, this may be your last chance to get it, or at least at a reasonable price, because we all know once it hits the uh, third-party market and is no longer available, the uh, prices tend to go through the roof. So um, there's definitely some cool pieces there. The Imperial Bastion is a really good like line-of-sight blocking terrain piece, even without like special rules or anything. So uh, those are really cool. Uh, I really like the trenches for the Wall of Martyrs. Those are some of my favorite like detailed pieces, and uh, I think it would be really cool to build a kill team board with them and like kind of a building in the middle sort of like a last stand defense of like a city or something like that uh, definitely has some cool ideas i want to work out with that uh, but uh, overall most of the uh, terrain you know eventually be replaced with something you know newer or better like for instance we're seeing the sky shield landing pad going away and then we see like the uh, new Nakmund kind of like landing pad showing up and then obviously like the new rise of ruins and the fences and everything kind of making up for like the uh old Aegis defense line kind of barricades. So uh, definitely a little bit of a slower week. I think the biggest thing we saw this week was the reveal of the new uh, land train for Ash Waste. Uh, if you didn't see that yet, that is really, really cool. Uh, it was previewed in a couple of like the uh, trailer animations previously. So to actually see the model and see it out, 
I think it's great. Super impressed by it. Definitely excited to use it. Uh, it's compatible with a lot of your old stuff as well, as far as like the shipping container crates and like barrels and all that stuff. Uh, looks great to me. Um, hopefully it will be, uh, you know, pretty decent price and come out before too long. Uh, definitely getting excited for the ash waste and uh, we'll definitely be doing some videos on like the building and painting of those sets as well. So, uh, but going to go ahead and wrap it up there. I uh, ran through the prices overall right in line with what we would expect. Um, again, if you haven't checked out these McFarlane toys before, uh, they are pretty cool and uh, super detailed. I'm not a huge fan of the orcs. They look a little bit blah to me, uh, but the Reavers are super cool. And then obviously Gene Stiller is pretty awesome as well. And then again, like the books and everything, you know, that's kind of a niche thing. But if you're into the books, I totally get it. Uh, just make sure you grab your copy of uh, Beckwin Pariah before they are sold out because that will not last long. And then as far as the Blood Bowl team, cool stuff. Uh, definitely like them. Um, not a big fan of uh, Forge World models, but uh, these do look good. It's not that they don't look good from Forge World, but they just take so much prep and work. And like just the overall quality uh, for what you pay is pretty laughable. So... Uh, but that being said, going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Let me know what you think. What are you excited for coming next? What are you going to be picking up out of this lot right here? Are you a Blood Bowl player? Uh, definitely be excited to uh, or, um, you know, would like to hear from people uh, specifically what games they're into. So let me know down below what's like your number one main game that you play. And then do you play some of like the smaller other skirmish games? Or do you have like a primary and a secondary? You're playing a little bit of everything. Are you just playing Warhammer games? Uh, you know, Games Workshop games, or do you have alternative games as well? Do you not play any Games Workshop games, and uh, you just like trolling and watching the videos? <laughs> I'm always curious to hear from you guys. I uh, definitely appreciate the community. I uh, definitely have the most awesome community on the internet. Uh, tons of, uh, you know, funny people cracking jokes and having a good time, and I do appreciate all the positive feedback and comments and everything. Uh, but that being said, going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And remember, if you're into Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, occasionally some Blood Bowl, some Harrow Deep, some, uh, you know, Horus Heresy, pretty much any kind of Games Workshop games. Uh, that's primarily what I deal in. And then obviously some D&D &D as well. Show off all kinds of tutorial videos. If you haven't watched those before, highly recommend it. If you haven't subscribed yet, highly recommend that too, because it's absolutely free and it's a great way to uh, support the channel and i do always appreciate you guys commenting down below that being said i'm out of here